this bus driver on? Bro, what the fuck is this nigga on, bro? Bro, this nigga. Keep the trucker back with another video. It's been about maybe a month, month and a half since the last video where I showed you the different breakdowns and things where I was trying to make it home. So I ended up making it home, but um, due to everything that happened before that, the multiple breakdowns and uh, not being able to run consistently and different things like that, I actually came to the decision that I'm gonna park my truck for a little while and uh, I'm gonna either run local or I'm gonna just find something else to do completely for a little while, maybe maybe at least a year and kind of uh, take that money and, and work on the truck without actually running the truck. So that way I'm not, I'm not dealing with additional damage or anything like that. Uh, right now I'm at the, I'm actually at the drop yard where I dropped my truck. I got it parked right there. I'm just, I'm just running the truck right now. Uh, yeah, so I did, um, I've been looking at a couple of different types of trucking. I might, I might go use my tanker endorsement or something, maybe haul fuel or do a uh, dry bulk or something like that. But, uh, so right now I just kind of been taking interviews and, uh, putting in for different things or whatnot. But, uh, yeah, some things that led up to me pulling the plug, just officially coming off the road was, uh, well, the freight, the freight was, um, it was kind of slowing down for me. Like as far as the, the, um, like the prices and different things like that. Like, cause my truck's an older truck. So it costs a little bit more to maintain because, you know, wear and tear and different things like that. So my maintenance is a little bit higher than a typical truck. So, uh, I would need a little bit more to run because, you know, it's always a risk of breakdown. So, uh, the price that I was getting from the different brokers and different things, it just wasn't even, it wouldn't even cover my, uh, it wouldn't even cover my maintenance at one point. Uh, like I'll break, I'll break down and then like, even with the money I had put up and stuff, I was just running through it, running through it, running through it. And, uh, I'll break down. I'll be stuck for a few weeks or whatnot. I'll get that fixed. And as soon as I go back out for that, that first run back out the gate, break down again. So, I was breaking down more than uh, more than I was running, so it eventually started to eat away at the money and everything. Before the money ran completely out, I just went ahead and pulled the plug because the next breakdown, I would have been stuck anyway. Um, I actually had got stuck when I took that trip, that trip out to Utah uh, a couple months ago. I had got stuck, but after a couple regions, I got my truck to actually uh, start back working with me, so it ended up... It ended up costing me nothing, but, uh, yes, so sometimes it, it'll work with me, sometimes it won't, so I just ultimately, I'll pull the plug on it, I'm gonna take a, take a year off and just kind of regroup, or I'm gonna save for, save for a second truck, so that way, if when this one goes down, I can just come grab the other one, and vice versa, or whatnot, but, uh, Cause at the moment truck prices is going way down i think the last time i look uh on some of the websites and different things some of the down payments some of the down payments got as low as uh two thousand dollars between two thousand and maybe like thirty five hundred for like a 2018 or somewhere in there around around 2018 i got um uh, currently i got a 2014 so a 2018 would be a jump up for me. It would probably save me on maintenance and different things like that where I could actually be making money and stay up and running. But for right now, with everything slowing down the way it is, uh, I might either go back to work for someone, uh, like as far as, I guess like maybe running like regionally for, for a company or different things like that. Or like I said, I might do the local route for a little while and just make my money that way and build my money back up before I decide whether or not to hit the road, um, hit the road again. But so far I just kind of been just exploring my options and different things like that. I thought about doing another lease purchase, but 
at the same time, I run into the same scenario at the moment where things are so slow. I don't know if I want to take that chance just yet. So I'd rather kind of take a step back and, uh, and just work and build my money back up and, uh, and kind of go from there. The things that I do know that I need currently on this truck that I currently got is uh, I know I'm going to need the radiator because my radiator is still shot. I decided not to fix it yet, but uh, yeah, I'm going to need a radiator. <clears throat> I'm going to need shocks. I got an oil leak again. That's another thing. I've been having like multiple oil leaks. I get, I get them fixed, and then next week, another oil leak. So I need radiator, shocks. Got to fix the oil leak. Uh, and probably a few other things, and then it'll it'll be back up and running. My engine's still strong. It's just the uh, the minor things that's going wrong back to back to back. Uh, so yeah, but I did manage to make it home. By uh, it was eating a lot of cooling and stuff, but I did manage to make it home. Uh, so now I'm just kind of kind of been just hanging out forever, but. Uh, yeah, this is just a quick video letting you know, uh, like I'm still gonna be making trucking videos and everything like that. The page will still be the same. Uh, it just might not be as frequent. I'll probably uh, probably do like trucking shorts and different things like that. It might not be as many trucking videos, but I'll still kind of keep you in the loop as to what I'm doing or whatnot. This is just a quick video letting you know, uh, like a quick little life update or whatever for those who care, but uh, yeah, so that's what it is. So I would just say, um, I mean, you could weather the storm if you want to, but I decided to just go ahead and back out of it for a little while just to uh, just to let everything, see how the market does and everything, uh, let it go back to normal or just kind of see. Because right now, uh, this is my opinion, but right now it's not, it's not really the time to be a owner out right now because... Uh, yeah, we getting screwed every which way uh, with everything that's going on. And, like, yeah, I would make more just coming off the road for a little while versus being on the road for me because the way uh, the way my truck is running and everything, I can make more uh, just doing some local stuff and then and then come back out to the road later because I've never I've never drove local or anything so it'll it'll be something new for me but I've been talking to a couple different uh couple of different options or whatever uh just kind of seeing where things go but yeah um uh, so basically that's basically basically it for now uh yeah I keep you in the loop and uh Sure, I guess I'll catch you in the next video. Pick up to the trap, you making it hot. Don't fit the work and it's fresh out the pot. I've been having nervous, I sleep with a chop. I get off the work and I don't need a clock. I don't need the rib, you know it's a stop. Too good on my nerves, I put it on block. If he choosing size, then he turn to a op. The trap said he jumping, we making it hot.